we are now entering fourth cusp, which is the cusp of the jump. Previous three Gospels, Matthew, Luke, Mark, we call the Synoptic Gospels because of the fact that the view was view on Jesus was on the humanity, humanity side of Jesus. As we discussed before, Matthew Gospel was written the first between 52-52. Matthew was a Jewish man. He wrote this gospel from Jerusalem. The major recipients were Jewish Christians who, who became Christians from the time AD 30, which is Jerusalem Church, all the way to 50, which is about 20 years later, for the last 20 years, uh, Jewish Christians who did not have major textbook who did not have a major textbook on the, the genealogy, early life of Jesus, birth of Jesus, early life of Jesus, genealogy, birth of Jesus, early life of Jesus, and his teachings, and his public ministry, life, stories, and his crucifixion and ascension stories. So Matthew covers from genealogy to ascension of Jesus, which actually he covers from B.C. 4 to A.D. 30. That story. From the Jewish perspectives, as a Jewish man, so this is the uh, Matthew Gospel, it's a Jewish textbook. Ten years later, many Gentile people came to Christianity. Gentile people. So it was necessary to write a book for Gentile Christians. So God appointed Luke, who who was Gentile, medical doctor, he wrote the Gospel of Luke, Luke Gospel, in Rome, in Rome here, which was the time when St. Paul was in prison in Rome. So they were together lived in lived in Rome at the time St. Paul wrote the four epistles, four prison 
episodes namely Philippians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, and Philemon. You just write it down just for your reference. Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, and Philemon. Philemon. At that time, Luke wrote the Gospel of the Luke. Primary for Gentile Christians. Okay. With the Gentile perspectives from the birth of Jesus all the way to the ascension of Jesus. So it was an early uh, history book. And Luke wrote the second history book called Act, right after that. So actually, he wrote the book of Acts, second book in AD 63. Understand now? You, you follow me, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Then, during those times, uh, Emperor Nero was in Roman Emperor who, who had given the severe persecution toward Christians. It was a 64, AD 64, Emperor Nero set the fire on the city of Rome. And blaming Christians who set the fire instead of himself. So it was a very severe Christian persecution time. According to the history, in AD 65, Peter, according to the history, in AD 65, Peter was in prison and crucified upside down in 65. So now these Christians were needed the comfort and encouragement in the middle of the persecution. So God raised up Mark to give them the comfort. So Mark wrote the Gospel of Mark, Mark Gospel, here between 66 to 68, around that time. and beheaded in 68. So it was very, the persecution was at peak, at the highest. Okay. And Christians could endure the persecution. But Christians really badly needed the the deity part of the uh, Christ, Christ, uh, Christology, the deity part of the Christology. 
because in the in the three letters here, Matthew, Luke, Mark, Gospels were heavily on the humanity part of Jesus Christ. Matthew viewed Jesus as the King of Kings, and Luke viewed Jesus as what? The Eh? Son of no, son of man. Okay, son of man. And the Mark viewed Jesus as suffering servant. So here Jesus suffered for us. Therefore, it is our turn to suffer for Jesus. It was a message to Mark. Okay, so all these three letters was dealing with the humanity part of Jesus. Now they really needed the deity part of Jesus. Okay, God's part of Jesus, so that they can be strengthened in the middle of that persecution. They will be much heavily equipped with the Lord Jesus, with that deity part of Jesus. So John wrote John's Gospel, uh, focusing on the deity part of Jesus. There are few uh, theories on when the gospel was written, but I, I, I came to a uh, conclusion that the, the John's gospel was written after Paul's, okay, Paul's martyrdom and before, before AD 70, before AD 71, before AD 70 is the destruction of the temple and the nation of Israel, okay, AD 70, so that John's gospel was written right before. Why before AD 70? Then we have one indication here in John chapter 5. John chapter 5, that's the, uh, you just write it down, okay? John chapter 5, you know, the pool of Bethesda, okay? Bethesda pool. John wrote that there is a Bethesda pool. There is, he put down a present tense in chapter 5, verse 2. Okay? Is. That means if John's gospel was written after 70, then he could have said there was. You know why? Because that Bethesda pool was right beside the Jerusalem temple. Okay? <coughs> AD 70 was a time the temple was destroyed along with the Bethesda pool. Got it? So this John must have written this letter prior to AD 70. But after the Mark Gospel, after the Mark Gospel, therefore it should be between 68 to 70, I would say around 69. That's the, uh, the time of the John's Gospel, okay? Now, as to 
the place where uh, did he write this? There are three theories. Some said he wrote this in Ephesus because John most of the time spent time in Ephesus. We will deal with that later. And some said Rome. And some said Jerusalem. Now, recipients are clear, both Gentile and Jewish Christians. Purpose is to teach them the deity of Jesus Christ in the midst of the persecution. Uh, John's Gospel is very unique. It's very a unique gospel from the synoptic gospel. Uh, it it does not have the birth genealogy and birth, genealogy and birth, and early childhood, like of Jesus Christ. In other words, this is not a uh, history book. John collected some uh, uh, stories on Jesus, stories and teachings on Jesus that that were not written, recorded in the Synoptic Gospel. As a result, the most John's Gospel stories are only found in the John's Gospel. Okay. Now, uh, let us, uh, let us uh, write down the outline of the John's Gospel. Okay. It has five sections, as we recorded it, five sections. Now, the first section is, let's write down now and here, Prelude. Prelude. Chapter 1, verse 1 through 18. This one is said, prelude is we know very much. We are very familiar with the prelude. The word in the beginning, there was a word. So the word was God, and the word became a flesh, and so on. All this, you know, no genealogy, nothing. Just started with Jesus is God. That's the, you know, first thing. Okay? So it's very, uh, you know, uh, very sudden, just a abrupt beginning, just a strong statement that Jesus is God and He is Creator God and He became human. That's the uh, prelude here. Very strong statement. And second part, second session is the story on the beginning of the public ministry. The beginning of the public ministry. Chapter 1, verses 19 through 51. Under that, alphabet A. Under, under that, alphabet A. 
the ministry of the John the Baptist. The ministry of the John the Baptist. Chapter 1, 19 through 34. Chapter 1, 19 through 34. And alphabet B. The first group of his disciples. First group of his disciples. Chapter 1, 35 to 51. Under B, and number 1. Under B, number 1. Andrew and Peter. Chapter 1, 35 to 42. And number 2. Philip and Na 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 Ta Na El Na Ta Na El Philip and Na Ta T H Na El Okay Chapter one forty three two fifty one Now third number thirty is public ministry Third session is public ministry and column say miracles and teachings. And chapter two, verse one through chapter eleven, fifty five. Chapter eleven fifty four, I'm sorry. Chapter two, verse one through chapter eleven. 54. And under the A, alphabet A. Alphabet A say, in his Galilee ministry. His Galilee ministry. Chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. Under that, number 1. Water turned to what? Wine. Okay, number one. Water turned to wine. Chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. And alphabet B. Alphabet B. Uh, his visit to Jerusalem for the Passover. His visit to Jerusalem for Passover. Chapter 2.12 to chapter 4.3. Under that, number one. Cleanse the, cleanse the, the temple. Jesus cleansed the temple. Chapter 2, 12 to 25. And number 2. He met his dialogue with Nicodemus. His dialogue with Nicodemus. Chapter 3, verses 1 to 21. And number three, John the Baptist testified Jesus. John the Baptist testified the Jesus. Chapter three, verses 22 through chapter four, verse three. Now, alphabet C, A, B, C. He visited Samaria. And chapter 4, verses 4 through 42. He visited Samaria, chapter 4, verses 4 through 42. Under that, number 1. Samaritan lady in Sychar. Samaritan lady in Sychar. 
chapter 4, verse 4 through 38. And number 2. Many accepted Jesus. Many Samaritans accepted Jesus or believed Jesus. Many Samaritans believed Jesus. Chapter 439 to 42. Okay. And A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Return to Galilee. Return to Galilee. Chapter 4, 43 to 54. That's under that number one, I'm sorry. Yeah. Under that number one, Jesus healed a nobleman's son. Nobleman's son. Chapter 4, 43 to 54. And A, B, C, D, E. Jesus, the second visit to Jerusalem for the Passover. His second visit. Chapter 5, verses 1 through 46. Under that, number 1. He healed 38 years old sick man at the pool of Bethesda. He healed 30, how many years? 38 years. Uh, not all person. 36 years sick person. Where? At the pool of Bethesda. Chapter 5, verses 1 through 15. And number 2. He claimed himself the son of son of God. Chapter five, sixteen to thirty. And number three. He testified himself. That okay, he testified himself. Chapter 5, 31 to 46. Now A B C D E F. Return to Galilee. And chapter 6, verses 1 through chapter 7, verse 9. Return to Galilee. Now under that number one, number one. Five, five bread and two fishes. Chapter six, verses one through fifteen. Five bread and two fishes. And number two, Jesus walked on the water. Chapter six. 16 through 21. And number three. Jesus claimed that he is the bread from heaven. Chapter 6, 22 to 59. And number four. Many disciples left to Jesus. Chapter 6, verses 60 through 65. And number 
5. Jesus predicted Judas Iscariot, the devil. Jesus predicted who? Jesus. Judas Iscariot, his devil. Chapter 6, verses 66 to 71. And number 6. The brothers of Jesus did not believe Jesus. The brothers of Jesus did not believe Jesus. Chapter 7, 1 through 9. Okay. Now, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. G. Jesus revisited Jerusalem. Jesus revisited Jerusalem for the Feast of Tabernacle. For the Feast of the Tabernacle. Now, chapter 7, verse 10 through chapter 10, 21. Here, number one, number one. See now, at, at the feast of Tabernacle, he delivered many important messages in the temple, Jerusalem. Okay. Now he had message number one. Number one say, uh, he taught lessons in the temple. Chapter 4, verses 14 through 24. And number 2. Chapter 7. Chapter 7, verses 14 to 24. What was the chapter, made one, the other one? Chapter 7, verse 10 to chapter 10, 21. Okay, under that there are many stories there. First story is what? He taught at many lessons at the temple. Okay? Now, number two. After that he said, and questions on Jesus is Messiahship. Chapter 7, 25 to 36. And number 3. Jesus promised. He promised for giving the living water to the believers, to the believers. Chapter 7, 37 to 39. Number 4. Many debates on the identity of Jesus Christ. Many debates on the identity of Jesus Christ. Chapter 7, verse 40 to 53. And number 5. A woman who caught A adulterous woman who caught. Chapter 8, verses 1 through 11. And number 6. 
Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world. Number six, chapter eight, verses 12 to 20. And number seven, the warnings against unbelievers. The warning against unbelievers. Chapter 8, verses 21 to 30. And number 8, the descendant of Abraham. The descendant of Abraham. Chapter 8, 31 to 41. And number nine, the children of devil, children of the devil, chapter eight, forty-two, forty-seven. And number ten, Jesus, who lived before Abraham. Jesus who lived before Abraham. Chapter 8, 48 to 59. And number 11. Healing the man born blind. Healing the man born blind. Chapter 9, verses 1 through 12. And number 12, Pharisees, Pharisees investigated. The man born blind, the healing of the man born blind. Pharisees investigate the healing of the man born blind. Chapter 9, verses 13 through 34. And number 13, the spiritual blindness, the spiritual blindness, chapter 9, 35 to 41, and number 14, good shepherd and ship, good shepherd and the ship, chapter 10, verses 1 through 21. G, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, G. What is after G? G? G. H. 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 Jesus revisited Jerusalem. Jesus revisited Jerusalem for Hanukkah. Have you heard that? Hanukkah? Yeah. Yes? The, the Feast of the Dedication. The feast of the dedication, dedication. You know dedication. Uh, now here, chapter ten, verses twenty-two to forty-two. Under that number one, <coughs> he Jesus claimed himself the Son of God. Chapter 10, 22 to 39. And number two. His ministry in Jordan River. 
his ministry in Jordan River. Chapter 10, 40 to 42. And H in I. His uh, ministry in Bethany. His ministry in Bethany. Chapter 11, verses 1 through 54. Under that, number 1. The death of Lazarus. The death of death and resurrection of, I'm sorry, the death and resurrection of uh, Nazareth. No, I'm sorry, don't, don't, res don't put resurrection. Death of Nazareth first, okay? And chapter 11, verses 1 through 16. And number 2. Martha and Maria comforted. Chapter 11, 17 to 37. And number three, the resurrection of Lazarus. Chapter 11, 38 to 44. Number four, the plot, you know, P-L-O-T, the plot to kill Jesus. Chapter 11, 45 to 53. And number five, Jesus fled, F-L-E-D, okay, Jesus fled to Ephraim, <coughs> Ephraim, Ephraim, chapter 11, verse 54, Ephraim, <coughs> okay, that's all the Bethany ministry, now, here, session 4, Jerusalem ministry and crucifixion Resurrection. You put down Jerusalem ministry or put down this way. Final number fourth visit. Okay, you put down the change the title, okay? Number four. Fourth visit to Jerusalem. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, visit to Jerusalem for fourth, number fourth, Passover uh, observance. Okay? Let me put this way again. Jesus visited Jerusalem to observe how many? Four. Number fourth. Passover observance. Got it? Every, got it? Yeah. That includes crucifixion and everything there. Okay? So actually, Jesus, in during his public ministries, uh, Jesus had visited Jerusalem. Uh, for Passover feast, how many times? Four, four, four times. times. Okay, four times. Now, chapter 11, verses 55 to chapter 20, verse 31. Chapter 11, 55 to chapter 20, verse 31. Now, under that, alphabet A. Now, uh, alphabet A, at Bethany, at Bethany, 
Jesus received expensive perfume, costly perfume. Chapter 12, verses 1 through 11. And alphabet B is triumphal entry to Jerusalem. His triumphal entry to Jerusalem. Chapter 12, verses 12 to 19. Then ABC. His prediction over his death. His prediction over his death. Chapter 12, verses 20 to 36. A, B, C, D, unbelieving Jews, unbelieving Jews, chapter 12, verses 37 to 50, and A, B, C, D, E, the last supper, the last supper, Chapter 13, verse 1 to chapter 17, verse 26. Okay. Under that, number 1. Jesus washed disciples' feet. Jesus washed disciples' feet. Chapter 13, verses 1 through 17. And number 2. Jesus predicted Judah's betrayal. Jesus predicted Judah's betrayal. Chapter 13, 18 through 30. Chapter 18, chapter 13 through 30. 18 through 30. And number four, number three. Three, right? Yes. Jesus gave the new covenant. Chapter 13, 31 to 35. So all these lessons given at the Last Supper. Okay? Yeah. And number four, Jesus predicted Peter's three times denied. Chapter 13, thirty-six to thirty-eight. And number five, Jesus comforted his disciples. Chapter 14, verses 1 through 4. Number 6, Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. Chapter 14, verses 5 through 14. Number seven, <coughs> Jesus promised the Paracletos. Jesus promised the Paracletos. Chapter 14, 15, chapter 14, verses 15 through 31. Number eight, he said, Jesus is true vine. Chapter 15, verses 1 through 17. And number 9, Jesus predicted the world, this world, will hate his disciples. Jesus predicted this world will hate his disciples. 
chapter 15 verses 18 to chapter 16 verse 4 and number 10 the ministry of the Holy Spirit the ministry of the Holy Spirit chapter 16 verses 5 through 15 and number 11 Jesus predicted disciples sorrow disciples sadness sorrow will turn to joy Chapter 16, verses 16 through 33. And number 12. The prayer of Jesus Christ. The prayer of Jesus Christ. Chapter 17, verses 1 through 26. Now, A, B, C, D, E, F. F. The Gethsemane prayer, 18 verses 1 to 11. Under that, number one. Jesus betrayed and arrested. Jesus betrayed and arrested. Chapter 18 verses 1 to 11. And EFG. Jesus was at the court, courtyard of high priest Kaifer. Chapter 18, verses 12 to 14. 12 to, not 14, I'm sorry, 12 to 27, 12 to 27, under that number one, Peter first denial, Peter's first denial, chapter 18 verses 15 to 18, and number two, high priest question, high priest question, Chapter 18, 19 through 24. And number three, Peter's second and third denial. Peter's second and third denial. Chapter 18, 25 to 27. And alphabet H. Questioned by Pilate. Questioned by Pilate. Chapter 18, verses 28 to chapter 19, verse 42. Chapter 19, verse 42, under that number one. Jesus sentenced to death. Chapter 19, 1 through 15. And number 2, Jesus crucified. Chapter 19, 16 to 27. Number 3, Jesus died. Chapter 19, 28 to 37. Number 4, Jesus' is tomb. Jesus' is tomb. Chapter 19, 38 to 42. And 
EFGHI. Jesus is resurrection. Chapter 20, verses 1 through 10. Under that, number one, appeared, Jesus appeared to Mary Magdalene. Jesus appeared to Mary Magdalene. Chapter 20, verses 11 to 18. Jesus' resurrection was chapter 20, verses 1 to 10. You know? Jesus 1 to, not 1 to 10, I'm sorry. Jesus' resurrection is, Jesus is chapter 20, verses 1 to 29. And number two, Jesus appeared to his disciples. Chapter 20, verses 19 to 23. And number three, Akul player. Number three, Jesus appeared to Thomas. Thomas, chapter 20, 24 through 29. And number four, it said, the purpose of John's gospel. Chapter, purpose of the John's Gospel. Chapter 20, verses 30 through 31. Come, just as you are.